Okay, this is 10-4. They give you an example here. And uh, what I like, sit down, please. Sit down. What I like about this example is that this is something I've done with previous classes, and it was kind of interesting. And I think I'll do it with this class too, but let me explain to you. Now, actually, that would be kind of a, a spoiler alert, so maybe I won't. But anyways, um, what they did is they marked, they tallied how many hours students spent watching TV um, each day. And so uh, looks like three students didn't watch any TV that day. One student uh, watched something for a half an hour. Several students watched an hour of TV. Two students, an hour and a half. Um, and this mark right here, it's not labeled, but what would that be right there? Yeah, I heard somebody say at one and three quarters. Okay, and so forth. Um, and here's what I've done in my previous, especially when I was doing junior high, I did this a lot when I was teaching algebra, beginning algebra in seventh grade. Um, first thing we did is, is for a week, they totaled, Ms. Gunderson, not only how many hours of TV they watched, but how many hours they were on the computer and how many hours they were on their phone. Okay, so what do you, like what are some of the things you do on your phone? Raise your hand, yeah. What else do you do on your phone, yes? Watch YouTube. What else do you do on your phone? Play games, what else? Watch movies. Watch movies, okay. There's TikTok is real popular for some. Okay, so you guys can spend a lot of time on your phone. Um, now, when I say computer, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do on your computer, a lot of gaming, but I know there's, there's what, PS4s? Or yeah, are they PS5s PS4. now? PS4. What are they up to? PS4, PS4. PS4. or 5. What are, what are some of the other devices that you, Xbox? Xbox. Okay. <clears throat> So, shh, 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 shh. Group two raise points. Shh. So, um, you know, in this category, basically any, uh, you know, any gaming devices. And so, uh, or of course, maybe somebody is just watching TV. But this is what I'm talking about here. Any kind of media, digital, electronic media. You know, I, I asked them, what do you, how many hours do you spend? And so Monday through Friday, uh, they tallied each day. Oh, I spent an hour on Monday, an hour and a half on Tuesday, nothing on Wednesday, uh, three hours on Thursday, and an hour on Friday. And so maybe one student, maybe their total was five and a half hours for that day. Another student, maybe it was seven. Another student, it was uh, two and a half, okay? And, and then, um, <coughs> then we made a graph of how many hours students watched media. And, and so it was kind of like this. All right, and so the most common for the week, for the total, was, was roughly around 10 hours. You know, there was a lot of students in there, okay? And then, you know, a few here and a few here. Now, here's, here's what was interesting, okay? So then we did a, a, a grade point average. And, and here's what I noticed that the students that watched um, the most TV or media or gaming, um, their, their grades kind of corresponded. In other words, uh, if they watched a lot, their grades were lower. And every year, it, 
it worked out that way. That the more hours they watched, the lower their grades were. Um, so there's a lot of fun things you can do with this kind of information and see if there's a correlation uh, between, um, you know, activities and things that you do. So anyways, um, I'm not going to go through this example. You can cross out the, the convince me. I'm not worried about that. Uh, the guided practice. Let's just look at this. It says, Renee works for a sand and gravel company. She made a line plot to show the weight of the gravel on last week's order. She concluded that one third of the orders were for more than six tons. Then they look at the question. Look at the first question they ask here. What is Renee's conclusion? Right there. She concluded that one third of the orders were for more than six tons. It's right there. Just write it down. That's all you have to do. And then how did she support it? All right, so just look at the graph. How did she figure that out? You can just look at the graph and tell. And then it says, describe at least one thing you would do to critique Renee's reasoning. Eh, think about it. I'll let you guys answer that one. And then number three, does Renee's conclusion make sense? Explain. You guys are going to have to think about it. All right, independent practice. Aaron made a line plot showing the weights of the heads of cabbage he picked from his garden. He must have a big garden. Um, he said that since one and a half, two, two and a quarter, two and three quarters equals eight and a half, the total weight of the cabbages is eight and a half pounds. <clears throat> Describe at least one thing you do to critique Aaron's reasoning. So his reasoning was... Um, So look at what he's added. He's added one and a half. How many cabbages did he pick that were one and a half? Two. So what should he have written down? Times two. Yeah, could have been one and a half times two. Or he could have written one and a half plus one and a half and then gone to the next one. Okay, so um, yeah, that's at least one thing that he's done wrong that you can look at. Uh, is Aaron's addition accurate? Well, I'm thinking probably not, so you could look at that and see if it is. See if these total eight and a half. Um, can you identify any flaws in Aaron's thinking? Well, we kind of answered that with number five, so I'm not worried about that. Does Aaron's conclusion make sense? Well, um, yeah, we're kind of answering that again with number five. Is, is it accurate? Yes or no? And how do you know? And so it's kind of like answering, does it make sense? Yes or no? Does it explain it? So don't worry about six and seven. And then I want you guys to do the performance task. It says, Ms. Fazio is the manager of the television station. She prepared the line plot to show the lengths of commercials aired during a recent broadcast. She concluded the longest commercials were three times as long as the shortest ones. Because three times one half equals one and a half. Um, which information in the line plot did she use in order to draw her conclu conclusion? And um, so let's underline her conclusion. She concluded that the longest commercials were three times as long as the shortest ones. What's the length of the shortest commercial? Look at the, look at the graph. What's the length of the shortest commercial? One half. One half. Or 30 seconds. I could say 30 seconds. What's the length of the longest commercial? Minute and 30 seconds. Yeah. Minute and a half. Or you could say 90 seconds. All right. Um, a 
let's see, whenever, so you can answer eight, number nine, did she use the number of X's above the number? Did it affect her conclusion? Yeah, you guys gotta think about these. Number 10, um, did she use the correct operation to support her conclusion? Yeah, you can answer 10. Are calculations accurate? You can do 11, number 12. Yeah, we already kind of answered that, so I'm not worried about 12. All right. You guys think about these. So I think probably for the quiz tomorrow, I will give you guys some problems similar to what we were talking about earlier and very similar to some of the problems you're doing here. I want you guys to be able to look at the charts and make sense of them. Okay.